Yeah, here we are outside Castlemaine. Today we're doing a hike around the gold fields. Yeah, this is about a 6k loop through the gold fields with the ruins on the way. So it's looking forward to it, should be good. The Garfield water wheel. This photo gives you a good idea of what it was like back then. It was used to extract gold from the quartz. 21 metres high and was the biggest water wheel in the southern hemisphere and a possible to use, that's for sure. The water wheel. Awesome. Wouldn't you have loved to have seen this thing working back 150 years ago? Unreal. Okay. That looks pretty. Amazing knitting there, digging in the old days. God, I stood the test of time. It's probably been there for 150 years. Yeah, there's there's all the mining shafts everywhere here. Yeah? All fenced off. Yeah, very very interesting walk so far. It takes you back to a different time. You know, they would have had a hard life out here. You can see down there where it's been more mined. A bit loose and rocky in parts, I know that. This would have been one of their old homes. You can see what's left of a fireplace there. Yeah, it's, it's hard to uh, get the shots on camera that, you know, like the old mine shafts, they just go straight down to about four foot square and they just, you can't see the bottom. So, and they're all, most of them are barricaded off, but not all of them. As I said before, if you fell down one, you'd never get out. But this, that, what I just done then was the village. So yeah, this is where they used to live while they were mining. Fascinating. It's like going back in time. Blacksmith's hut. This is where he used to live, eh? It's only a little. Still standing. Bits of it anyway. <laughs> 